taking care of business on the Big Dumb Fun Show. My name is Aaron. I'm Venkman. And you can give us a call, 888-8327561. Be live on the air, Monday, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. The rest of the week, leave us a random-ass voicemail message. We might play it on the air. We, we talk about uh, stories from all around the world, especially during the useless news. A lot of that crazy crap comes from the U.K. However, sometimes it's nice just to kind of take a peek in our own backyard And that's exactly what we're doing when we look at this uh, news story coming out of uh, Overland Park, Kansas. There's a guy, he's a conservative Republican, and he's running for the U.S. Senate seat in Kansas, and he's making all sorts of headlines because of Facebook. Now, here's the deal. Before we even get into the story, I think that if you are a, a celebrity a politician, or anybody that is of note, anybody that could be damaged by social media, I think you should have to turn over your keys, give them to a PR firm, or just delete your account. I think that needs to happen. It needs to be more common ground where you're just like, I am out. I'm sorry, I have a disclaimer. My social media site is taken care of by my... PR agency. Exactly. And he's President Obama's second cousin once removed. Milton Wolf? No. Oh, who are you talking about? Thanks for having me, Gretchen, and congratulations on the new show. Well, thank you so much. Now, a lot of people watching are going to say, wait. Now, this apparently is uh, Dr. Milton Wolf on uh, Fox. And you're in the tea party? (laughs) You know, they say you cannot choose your own family, but you can choose to rise up and stop your family. From destroying America, and that's what I'm—that's what I intend to do. All right, so that is not. This guy, this guy is white. Is that a fake? Is that a fake? No. Well, you know, the sad thing is about Barack Obama, and I don't mean anything personal against him, but he doesn't understand America. At least he doesn't understand. This guy talks like a politician. Ugh. What makes America exceptional is that, uh, unlike other countries around the world, our citizens are sovereign. You know, the the power of America should reside in in the people. And our government needs to relearn its place as servant rather than master. All right, pause that. Here's here's my problem. I am not hearing anything that the guy is saying. All I'm hearing is the super white guy voice that mm-hmm. most black men make when they pretend to be white. That's the voice that I hear right now. Like Dave Chappelle's... That is the voice because... It's, that's the voice. That's the face, too, if you see it here. <laughs> At, no, but the controversy Gretchen, is... Hey, Gretchen, so he c- went congratulations and, on your new show. I, he, I couldn't be more thrilled. He posted up some X-ray photos. Not X-rated photos, yeah. but X-ray photos. Yeah, he's apparently uh, very upset. He's actually a doctor of radiology. Makes sense why he would have access to, to those X-rays. Did he get their permission before they could post that up? What if I happen to see myself on Facebook? Could I sue? Wait a minute, that femur looks Senate, a lot like mine. U.S. Senator, Senate candidate Milton Wolf posted this according to the Washington Post, which this is a, a story that was posted up less than two hours ago. The U.S. Senate candidate Milton Wolf posted a collection of gruesome x ray images of sh- gunshot fatalities and medical injuries on his Facebook page and participated in online commentary layered with macabre jokes and descriptions of carnage. Somehow this is going to help him unseat a longtime Republican, uh, Pat Roberts. U.S. Senator Pat Roberts has had the seat forever. This guy, uh, Mr. White, I'm going to just call him Mr. White. He thinks he's got a, a chance at unseating Pat Roberts. And, and why? Because he's a radiologist and he posts up on Facebook and makes bad jokes about it, first of all. Well, he's talking about health care reform. Yeah. What are the gunshot? Can you give me a correlation? Like, maybe post one of his gruesome x-ray... First of all, there's not a gruesome x-ray photo. I don't care how, how you... It's an x-ray. It's well, an x-ray. gruesome is seeing, like, the pellets from a shotgun blast. Yeah. That's in not, somebody's chest, I guess. No, that's not... It's an x-ray. I don't think it's that, that gruesome. Did Facebook remove the pictures because of its gruesomeness? It doesn't say. I'm, I'm reading here. Wolf, a Johnson County radiologist anchoring a campaign for the Republican nomination... With calls for federal health care reform, said in an interview the medical images were legally uploaded to public social media sites and other online venues for educational purposes. They were illegally or legally? They were legally okay. uploaded. They, ser- they also served, he said, 
to demonstrate evil lurking in the world. Inside uh, people, I guess. These uh, these x-rays there's were le- legally updated. They were updated up to the Book of Faces. I'm sorry, but that's just the, the way it works. I'm just going to post these x-rays up on Facebook, let everybody see, you and make some funny he, jokes. He's a radiologist. Maybe he was there. And you mind if I... I know I'm putting this leaded plate over your chest while I x-ray your gonads, but... Yeah, could you just sign this release? Would you mind if I use this? I'm going to post it up <clears throat> on social media outlets all over the world. Mr. Johnson, that looks like quite the uh, gunshot wound to the chest. You know, I'd love to, if you don't mind... Share you know, that with my friends. I'd love to share that with all my friends on Facebook. Would you mind signing this off? That'd be great. <laughs> I'm just trying to demonstrate the evil lurking in the world. That's right. When I think of evil lurking in the world, I think of you, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Thank you, Gretchen. It's a great show. Oh, you know what? I'm very white. Percent disagree with him? <laughs> uh, in- indeed, I have. I think there are probably a few people in this, <laughs> indeed I have. Uh, in this world who have, have looked Barack Obama in the eye and, and stood toe to toe and told him he's wrong. <laughs> you know what? Wrong. And, uh, and I'm taller than him. Trust Americans with their own basic health insurance uh, decisions. Did I mention I was a radiologist? The should step in between a doctor and their patient. He's wrong to tell the, the mother who takes their, her young child into the ER at 3 a.m. in the morning that that doctor has to check with bureaucrats to see what treatments can be given. He, mm-hmm. he is simply wrong. So you decided you wanted to be the Tea Party candidate against uh, Kansas Senator Pat Roberts, uh, a Republican. Uh, he's been in that seat for quite some time. But it has something to do with the Health and Human Services Secretary. Secretary Kathleen Sebelius, and you found it ironic that it was Senator Roberts who was one of the first to ask for her resignation because they were longtime friends, correct? You know, you know the weird thing, Gretchen, uh, I'm glad you asked me about that, is that trying to unseat Pat Roberts is quite a challenge because it, it smells so bad. I would have to reupholster that seat. Uh, he's been in there and uh, <laughs> countless amount of farts in his Senate seat. I'm not looking forward to it, but it's a job that I'm going to have to I'm going to have to get used to. I've already contacted my friends over at uh, at Stanley Steamer. We've got a whole, like a four-point process to clean this seat. By God, it smells like old man farts. And if you know an old man fart, you know this is going to be unmanageable. I am very, very white. Good luck, Milton.